Blender 4.5 LTS has been released and it's got a whole host of new features and just like performance gains like never before. But it's got one little feature that I want to cover today that I just think is, uh, I can't imagine why it wasn't in Blender before, but it is now and I want uh, to highlight that. Um, to celebrate the release of Blender 4.5, I'm offering a 45% discount on any of my products on Superhive um for the first 45 people so get in quick i'm running it for a month so if you're one of the first 45 people you can get engon pro matte caps forever um or the hard surface matte caps pack which these are both part of that you can see uh on screen here anyway so the first thing i want to talk about is blender 4.5 is different from previous versions of blender because now You've got an extra back end, a new back end, which is Vulkan, as opposed to the older versions of Blender, which were running on OpenGL. Now, the first thing that you might be able to notice about this is that if you look at my VRAM usage on Blender 4.4 here, it's sitting at 8.5 um, out of the almost 16 gigabytes available. And if you look at over here, it's sitting at 0.4. And this is for an identical scene basically so this is really cool um, and if you want to install Vulkan or make sure it's working it doesn't work out of the box you need to go into the edit preferences system um, and then under here display graphics this is like the viewport change this from OpenGL to Vulkan it'll prompt you to restart Blender but if you're using Windows I recommend restarting Windows as well um, as I had it a bit laggy and I couldn't figure it out and eventually I restarted Windows and it worked fine. Um, and it does have this current restriction, low performance in VR. So if you're viewing your scene uh, with a headset, you might want to use a previous version of Blender. Okay, so that aside, that's really cool. And that works in lots of different areas of Blender. So if we just um, make this big for a second, like all the modifiers like the subdivision surface modifier and stuff like they've all been updated to work in um, different ways and they're a lot more efficient than they were um, so that's all really fine and well but that's not what I want to talk to you about today what I want to talk to you about today is this look at this geometry here that I've got on these uh, two uh, UV spheres. Now if we open this up we can see that they are really weird uh, geometries. Now if I start to select this geometry I better make sure I'm in face mode. All right so and then I wanted to do a grid fill on this. You can find grid fill by pressing control and F and finding your face menu and hit grid fill. It's just going to come up with this error. It's going to say select two edge loops or a single closed edge loop. So what we really need to do is delete the faces, go into edge mode, select the thing, and then we can grid fill that. And that was always something that you could do for a while now. Now in Blender 4.5, I can just go control F grid fill. And this is amazing. And I saw this on Twitter. I'll, I'll post up the, the person who posted it. And then I noticed that Pixel Fondue uh, said that this has been available in Modo for years. So bring us some of that Modo magic to Blender because this is amazing in so many circumstances. Um, you know, like for retopology, even just for modeling. Um, there's so many areas where we could, you know, um, do with this, right? So. That's what I wanted to say today. I mean, there's a lot of videos already about all of this stuff that Blender 4.5 has. I just wanted to show that because I just thought that was amazing. This is amazing. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Tschüss.